welcome to this presentation, during which I'm going to show you Tactic Draw, a member of RT Software's family of Tactic products. Tactic Draw is designed for aiding presenters to tell their story with the use of a touchscreen. Whilst its siblings in the Tactic family are aimed primarily at sports coverage, the simplicity, ease of use and price point of Tactic Draw also makes it ideal for any studio show such as news and current affairs or entertainment where a presenter wants to illustrate their story. From the touchscreen, presenters can browse and select clips, bookmark web pages or documents, interact with them and add graphics from a palette. What's more, the easily customizable touchscreen interface means that consistency of your brand is guaranteed, allowing you to make Tactic Draw look like it's your product. First, I'll take you through the operator interface here, where an operator can set things up for the presenter, so they're ready to go live as soon as the cameras start rolling. Then, I'll move over to the touchscreen to show you just how easy it is for the presenter. So let's look at the operator interface, which will be immediately familiar for anyone that's already used Tactic. Here, we have all the clips I can choose. I can click on any one of them. Let's choose this sports clip, for example, and it appears on screen. I can use the transport controls to play or even scrub to a specific point. Once I've got a point of interest, I can start to add illustration. So circle all these uh, cyclists, for example, or add arrows. So all very simple, all of which can be done from the touchscreen. But I'm going to set something up for a new show. So I'm going to call this clip here, which is drone footage of a demonstration. This is going to be one of the current stories for tonight's shows. So all I do is right click on it and choose add to story. And now that clip's been added to the story, it immediately becomes available from the touchscreen so the presenter can access it and play it. They can also add graphics from a selection of graphic tools that they already have on the presenter screen. But I might want to give them more or customize some of their graphics, and that's very easy to do as well. For example, they already have a red arrow, but if I put this on screen, I can actually open this arrow's parameters. And we can edit it. So for example, I may want to make it a bit bigger, uh, let's move that menu out of the way. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to make it a sort of orangey sort of warning color like so. I can also change the transparency. And then one more thing, I'm going to change the line start. I'm going to make it round. So the presenter may have asked for this particular graphic to show the direction of crowd travel. So all I need to do now is just click on save. And I'm going to save this graphic with all the edited parameters that I've created. And I'm going to save it to the presenter page of tools. This means it's going to go straight onto the presenter screen. So I click OK. And then let's go up here and have a look at the presenter page of tools. And you can see there are several pages I can select from. There it is. And now all I need to do to make sure it's available on the touchscreen is refresh the touchscreen interface. And there it is. So it's now available for the presenter to use on the touchscreen. But it's not just graphic tools I can make available for them. They may want to use things like images or icons or logos. And that's very easy as well. I just go into my interface here. Let's close down my uh, parameters editor. And I'm going to open a Windows Explorer window where I'm just looking at my pictures directory. And we have some PNG files in here. So these are standard image files. This police badge might be useful to presenter because they want to show where there's a lot of police presence. So I'm going to bring that into Tactic. And to do that, I just drag it out of the Windows environment onto the palette there, and it becomes an icon. I'm going to use this graphic as well to show where the crowd is, is, is pressing into each other. Drag and drop, and there we go. So now into Tactic, I can just click on this, add that, click on this, and add that. Okay, they can be moved and positioned around. And of course, the presenter can use them from the touch screen. Once again, I just refresh and it appears on the presenter screen. So those images are now available for the presenter to use directly from the touch screen. But it's not just clips they may want to work with. They may want to work with things like web pages or documents. Well, if we go back into the interface, let's clear my graphics here. And you can see up the top here, we have a web bar. And here, I can just type in the address of any web page. Let's choose uh, RT Software's web page, for example. Press Enter. And now, we can see a web page on screen. What's more, we can interact with this web page. I can scroll or even click on links. So if we go to the products page, for example. I can decide if I want to add graphic tools. I can turn off the web button here. 
And once again, we're now adding to the Stratic graphics. I'm going to go back into interacting with the page, clear this, go back to the home page, and I'm going to add this as a bookmark. As we can see in the bookmarks listing, I have this page available. Once again, I can add this to the story, and that then becomes a web page accessible from the touchscreen. But we don't have to stop at web pages, we can look at documents. Up here, I'm going to click on the browser button next to the web address bar. Let's go into the documents folder. And here there's a PDF. This is a tourist guide to Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Now my presenter is going to be talking about Dubai later on, so I'm going to uh, open this. Once again, I can scroll up and down either from the touch screen or from the mouse as I'm doing so now. Bookmark this and add that to the story. Okay, so I've just given my presenter a selection of tools that they can use during their presentations and a selection of assets that they can use to tell their stories. As an operator, I can now relax and wait for the live show. Okay, the show's about to start and I am now taking on the role of presenter, the person that's going to use the touchscreen to tell the stories. You can see we have the graphics here that I made earlier and the bookmarks representing all of the stories I'm going to say. Before I start operating it, a little bit about the touchscreen. It is configurable within Tactic. We can easily go into the preferences to decide whether we want all the tools on the left or on the right, or both sides as we have it now. We can start in full screen if we want with the video uh, in full screen or the bookmarks in full screen with the uh, tools overlaid, or we can squeeze back as I have it here. And of course, if you want your own design completely configured to your requirements, we can create that for you as well. All right, so we're starting on the RT software webpage. Remember, I used that uh, as a bookmark earlier, and at the moment, I can interact with it, so I can scroll. But just turning off this button here means that when I touch now, I'm going to be accessing graphic tools, so I can simply add a graphic onto the page. Alternatively, I can go into a clip. So we were looking at a story earlier where we were looking at a demonstration. So I just click on that clip, and it appears on the screen. I have my play button here, so we can start playing this. Or if I want to, I can actually control using this scrub bar here. So we're going to get to this point here, because this is an interesting point here. We've got a crowd crush under the bridge. So I'm going to use the arrow that I created earlier to um, say this is the direction of travel of the crowd, uh, and they were coming back from there. The police, unfortunately, are sort of have a presence in this area, which means that they're not on site or they're not in the right place to prevent the sort of pressure of the crowd press, uh, of the crowd pressing into each other there. So very quickly, I'm using the tools I created. Uh, all of these tools there, ones that I set up as when I was playing the role of operator. Okay, we mentioned also that uh, our presenter may want to do a travel log on Dubai. So what we have here is a bookmark of Google Maps, in this case showing a particular part of Dubai that we're interested in. This is the Dubai Marina, which is an interesting part because 20 years ago it was just sand. Whereas now, if we look at it, and I have a clip there with an uh, over-the-head shot, we can see how incredibly uh, built up it is. But what's also interesting about uh, Dubai is it's not just the modern, it's a kind of mixture of the uh, modern and the traditional. Because if you notice, in amongst all these uh, skyscrapers here, there's a little mosque right down there. So the traditional sort of thing is still there. So uh, very interesting for my travel log. And what's more, if we want to go in further to look at this mosque, I'm going to call up this bookmark here, which is Google Street View. And this can be obviously anywhere you want in the world. So here I can interact with this and once again put my uh, magnifier on the moss there. So you can see how quickly and easily we've turned Tactic Draw into a very powerful storytelling tool with options for touchscreen operation, but also as with every other Tactic product, with tablet operation. So this is connected wirelessly, but still I have a simple interface on here where I can control the same clip. We can play this, uh, uh, we can pause this, add graphics on, and select other clips accordingly. So there we have it. Tactic Draw, the perfect solution for your touchscreen presentation needs. Thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.